Hey everybody, today we're going to go over a useful mnemonic for memorizing the uh, most common causes of pancreatitis. Um, we already have a video kind of going over the uh, signs and symptoms and treatment options for acute and chronic pancreatitis, um, but this is a, a common pimp question, so real quick we're going to go over this helpful mnemonic. Uh, and that mnemonic is GET SMASHED. Um, this goes over the common causes of both acute and chronic pancreatitis. Um, we're going to start over on the left with GIT. The G stands for gallstones. Um, gallstones account for uh, the most common cause of acute pancreatitis, that being a gallstone, you know, blocking that bile duct, um, thus causing kind of a backup in bile and uh, thus an irritation of the pancreas. And uh, the E here stands for ethanol or alcohol. Um, alcohol or ethanol is the most common cause of chronic pancreatitis. So that's uh, classically seen in like your alcoholic patients. They've been damaging their pancreas over time by high levels of uh, alcohol consumption and uh, thus they damage their pancreas. Now combined, these two causes, these first two here, gallstones and alcohol, cause 80% roughly of pancreatitis cases overall. So we're talking about acute and a chronic cases of pancreatitis, um, more than likely it's going to be caused by a gallstone or alcohol. Well, let's keep going here with our mnemonic. Um, the T stands for trauma, and trauma being like, uh, let's say, like, uh, you know, like a, a car accident um, or uh, blunt trauma, blunt force trauma to the abdomen, um, something that would cause irritation to that pancreas or that abdomen there. Uh, this first S is going to be steroids. So steroid use can cause uh, inflammation of the pancreas. The M is mumps, which we don't see as much as we used to because of the vaccine, uh, but it is a part of this mnemonic. The A is autoimmune diseases. Specifically, I'm going to put in parentheses here lupus, SLE, uh, because lupus is the one that's most commonly associated with causing pancreatitis. The second S is, now this is super rare, but it's a scorpion bite. And it's a common pimp question, although it's rarely seen in the world. In the world. Specifically, it's a scorpion that's usually found on the island of Trinidad. So a uh, Trinidad scorpion bite can cause pancreatitis. And, uh, you know, attendings like to ask that question because it is so rare, but it's good to know. Um, the H stands for two different things. Hyperlipidemia. So if you have a, an obese patient or hypercholesterol patient, um, that, that excess fat can cause uh, pancreatitis. And the other H there is hyperparathyroidism. Um, and that is because, as you know, parathyroid, uh, if that is elevated, calcium levels in the blood is, is uh, elevated, and calcium is part of the pathogenesis of pancreatitis. So for H, we have two, hyperlipidemia and hyperparathyroidism. Um, the E is st stands for ERCP. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're doing like a clangiogram or ERCP, um, anytime that, um, that sphincter of OD or that bile duct is manipulated iatrogenically, um, you can cause an iatrogenic ca uh, case of pancreatitis. And the last D here is going to be drugs, specifically uh, azathioprine, which is an immunosuppressant, and valproic acid seem to be the most common ones that we see in our cases. Um, Valproic acid, as you know, is an anti, a common anticonvulsant with a lot of different side effects. Uh, pancreatitis can be lethal, so it's important to, to find it and stop it. Um, we talked about it a lot in the videos, so we're not going to dwell on it, but the pathogenesis, you know, so the pancreas gives off a lot of digestive enzymes, and if those get um, irritated or activated or they can't be released from the pancreas, so they, they work inside the pancreas, they will digest whatever's around them, thus being the pancreas. Um, you know, if you have this going on for a long time, like chronic pancreatitis, you know, especially seen after chronic alcoholism, you predispose yourself for things like diabetes, right? Because the pancreas makes insulin. So if the diet, if the pancreas is no longer working, we're no longer going to have the insulin. Now we're going to have a, a uh, cause of um, diabetes. Uh, another big thing is pancreatic cancer, which is one of the the hardest cancers to diagnose and treat. So that's something we obviously want to avoid too. So just to uh, go over it in conclusion here, gallstones, ethanol, 
trauma, steroid use, mumps, autoimmune diseases like especially lupus, scorpion bites, hyperlipidemia and hyperparathyroidism, ERCP or clangiogram, and drugs, specific, or most commonly uh, azathioprine and uh, valproic acid. And that is get smashed. Good mnemonic for the causes of pancreatitis. Thanks.